Asthma is really a syndrome, it's a mixture of symptoms, uh, which is very, very important for the patient to understand, but also for the doctor to understand. And any collection of these symptoms may suggest that the patient has asthma, but it may also be other things. So first of all is the history, which is really, really important. The symptoms which are characteristic of asthma, wheezing, tight chestness, uh, chestedness, symptoms on exercise, night waking, impairment of, of, of life activities. Response to medication. Peak flow measurements can be helpful. And patients can take peak flow meters away and do serial peak flows, which will demonstrate the variability in the peak flow. That can help to make a diagnosis. With people with occupational asthma, serial peak flows are also very, very helpful because oftentimes the, the variability in peak flow, the asthma symptoms, disappear at weekends or on holidays, but come back when the person goes back to work. So about 15% of patients have an occupational element to their asthma. And we shouldn't forget about hobbies because hobbies may also have the same sort of thing. You may be exposed to allergens with your hobby uh, or other uh, agents which cause your asthma to, to go off. Blood tests can be helpful, in particular um, looking at the eosinophils in the blood test. So you've got a high eosinophil count, you're more likely to have an allergic asthma and more likely to be responsive to inhaled corticosteroids. There's also a breath test called the uh, pheno, which measures the level of eosinophilic inflammation in the lungs. It takes three minutes to do, four minutes to do, and if the level is low, then the patient uh, won't have a necessarily eosinophilic inflammation in their lungs. It may be intermediate, in which case there may be some, or high, a level above 40, which suggests they're going to respond fairly well to inhaled corticosteroids. And this can also be used to some extent in monitoring the patient. If they come back and they've been well, but their symptoms have come back and you do the pheno, this suggests that maybe they haven't been taking their medication. And then if you are suspecting allergens, it may be worthwhile doing a specific IgE test to see what allergen is triggering them, so that you may employ some avoidance uh, technique. Or for some allergens, uh, you may also consider the possibility of immunotherapy, although the, the evidence for immunotherapy in asthma is not terribly strong at this time, although it's improving all the time. Well, most patients should have a, a self-management plan, which will explain in conjunction with the doctor to the patient about when they should seek advice. So the self-management plan would include uh, instructions as to when to increase the medication they already have, as well as when to seek medical advice. And they would seek medical advice if by increasing the medication, the symptoms weren't coming under control, because that would suggest uh, an asthma attack or an exacerbation of asthma. So what are the symptoms that would suggest that asthma is, is getting worse? Well, firstly, they start having symptoms during the day. Secondly, their asthma symptoms stop them from doing their normal daily activities. Thirdly, and it's getting worse now, if, if their asthma is waking them at night. The other thing which is worthwhile thinking about for the patient is if they need to use their reliever medication more often, so in the ideal world, the patient should have no need of reliever medication. If they're using it once a week, then that's probably acceptable. If they're using it twice a week, that suggests their asthma is slipping out of control. And if they're using it more often than that, then their asthma isn't under control.